Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Bailey. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be getting ready. I want to do something because it is my birthday and I'm not going to be turning 31 looking like this. Do you know what I mean? So I want to put makeup on. I want to look like a hot bombshell. That's what I need for my life. So that's what we're going to do. Um, this past year has been just so hard for me. Um, and then the cherry on top of it is being diagnosed with MS and everything that comes with that. Oh my god. Every time I try to film, I am gonna continue today because I need to, I need to put makeup on because I want to post a cute photo. I, um, it's just very overwhelming, uh, for me, uh, to feel like your body, like, isn't your body. And like your mind isn't your mind. And like trying to hide it for as long as I did. And oh my god, this is what happens every time. Like, ugh. I want to make a whole video like talking about my MS and like everything that came with that and you know my left arm went completely numb December 2019 and I was hiding it I was like trying not to let the people know uh it's just it's been so overwhelming and to actually have a diagnosis now it, it's kind of like a relief because I know what's been happening before it was just like oh my arm's numb like I, oh I can't lift that like I don't know why and then I almost feel like people think I'm lazy whatever okay anyway this is not what this video is about this video is supposed to be about my birthday and I want to look cute so that's what we're going to be doing even though now I'm hot <laughs> I'm hot now <sighs> maybe I just needed to get the cry out of the way you know I just need to I need to get the cry out of the way I'm just going to pin my hair back here Everything in Manitoba is still closed due to COVID. I'm still unable to work due to COVID. I was extended for another two weeks. Everything is just very overwhelming and annoying and stupid. And I'm like, this close to just having like a mental breakdown. But here we are. Um, yeah, I feel like I just need to get that cry out of the way. So I'm so sorry. Um, if you don't know what multiple scleros sclerosis is, I would definitely search it up. Um, it's just like it's been a lot and like every day like the anxiety of like waking up and like not knowing what's like wrong with your body and like what's gonna happen it's just like very it's just like a lot okay and uh it's just it's a lot to have to go through it alone to have such tight restrictions that like you can't even see like your family or friends it's just been like one hell of a ride <laughs> i'm not gonna lie and it's just been very emotional and um I was worse like the week of my diagnosis like every day like I was waking up and like so hyper aware of like every part of my body like oh my god am I like gonna be in a wheelchair tomorrow like it's very overwhelming and very like insane for me yeah I might make a whole video about it because not many people like understand MS and whatnot and here I am trying to live through it with my numb hand um you can kind of see the depletion of my hand ish it sucks anyway so we're gonna put makeup on because i want to put makeup on and i'm so tired of like and like oh my god like that's the thing like to have to admit that you're not physically able to do something anymore or to say that oh my god or to say that I like don't remember because like I don't remember things I'm like not as sharp as I used to be and that's why I've really taken a step back because I just like I get so tired so easily and like I just like mentally like can't do what I used to do and that's really hard for me to admit and I always feel like I'm a burden to people all of that 
oh my god I'm so sorry like I'm just like having like a full-on breakdown right now that's why I'm trying to do my eyebrows first and hopefully my eyes will whiten <laughs> okay I'm using the wet n wild retractable brow pencil in the shade dark brown I really like this pencil <laughs> I just dyed my hair black last night you can still see the horrible line job that I did so if you're wondering what that is that's what it is I really like this pencil I know it's not as like cool tone as I usually use but I actually like the warmth on me and I've been growing in my little tails of my brows here so my brow is a bit thicker so I've just been trying to like change my look I'm like sweating because I'm so like hot and overwhelmed I, I always sweat on my brow which is so weird hi sweet baby she knew I was upset so she knew I need she needed to come here hey sweet okay well she has planned okay why don't you go lay up here babe <laughs> I also have something very exciting that I'm gonna be putting on Guys, I made some lashes, so stay tuned for that, which I was supposed to launch that months ago, but I just, like, I, like, mentally, like, you guys, it's, it's been a lot, so bear with me, okay? Um, to clean up my brows, I'm going to be using the Can't Stop, Won't Stop Concealer by NYX Cosmetics. I am using the shade 02 Alabaster. It is white and light, and I love it that way. Ugh. I'm sorry I like had a mental breakdown it's just like very overwhelming for me and every time I try to film that's literally what happens like I just get so overwhelmed and so it's it's just like honestly like so heartbreaking for me because I just feel like going through this in the time of COVID has just been like a lot like I'm alone all of the time all the time like anyone who's been single throughout this whole thing like I'm right there with you it has been the worst time of my entire life like I literally sit at home I just <laughs> sit in my bed and cry because I'm literally alone like at four o'clock in the morning I'll just be like crying because I'm just alone like all of like everyone I know is just like happy in a relationship like they come home they do their cute little quarantine bullshit whatever and I'm just here alone don't have a house to work on I was gonna maybe buy a house this year and then lo and behold the market's like absolute shit so I have to deal with these ugly floors. Baby, you want in my closet? It's just been so overwhelming and having to take myself to all of these doctor's appointments and MRIs and like having like, people poke and prod at me without me knowing what's happening. And then I just come home because I can't see my mom or whatever. It's just, it's like really hard. And then to be diagnosed over the phone, it was just, like this will go down in history as the worst time of my life it's not even when my dad passed away that was that was awful and I still get like super overwhelmed but this is like a whole other thing and I I don't know if it's like a combination of like I spent all of my 20s on here with you guys alone not focusing on I didn't want a man I didn't want a boyfriend I didn't want a family I didn't want any of that I wanted to do what I wanted to do and I still do and that's still the way I want to live like I want to do me but now everyone I know is off doing their own things building a life building a home and I'm just like here alone and like COVID's really like solidified that I was just taking some of the Maybelline Superstay and powdering my brows just because that's what's here I don't know where my powder is it's not good days versus bad days it's good moments versus bad moments because I do have some good days it's just like it's just like very overwhelming and if anyone's dealing with an illness or what have you it's it's a lot oh what I was gonna say is yeah I'm having this like conflict in my mind of like I was gonna use the sweet oasis by morphe but i think i want to do something like a little more neutral i might grab one shade from this palette but i love the natural flirt this palette is so nice this goes into my kit when i actually am working because it's just like this is so beautiful like i love this color this color like i just love this so much like beautiful morphe did send me the sweet oasis brushes so i am going to be working with some of these look at how fun that is can't go wrong with the Morphe brush. I actually lost my favorite concealer brush, the one I always do my eyebrows with. It was a furless cosmetics. It looked like this, but it was a concealer brush. And I, you guys, I don't know where it is. I don't know where it is. 
Anyway, so we're going to be working with some of these. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, so I have this like internal struggle of like, I don't know if it's regret. It's not, it's not regret. It's um, like everyone spent all of their, their 20s like finding their like partner and they've been with their partner. Like all oh, my friends have been with their partner for like literally a decade. And like I've. I didn't do that like that wasn't my priority like I couldn't fucking care less about dating a man like I literally just like I don't care and now I'm just like left in this like very lonesome very lonely um and one of the one of the DMT so disease modifying treatments because there is no treatment for MS one of the DMTs you like can't get pregnant on so it's like do I try and save my life and like go on this or do I like do I want a child or like so it's just like, it's a lot but also like I don't have a man so I don't even know why I'm thinking I want a child like I don't know it just like it really like puts everything into perspective and it's just like been a lot I'm also like not talking to my sister right now and I've never not talked to my sister and it's it's hard so typically I take tape and put it on the outside of my eye here but I always buy these little things off of Aliexpress and they are actually for eyelash extensions so they put this on your bottom lashes to like tie them down when you get lash extensions I'm show you what I do with that. Take a pair of my scissors and just literally cut it in half. I like using these because it has a curve to it. So it lifts your eye without being like so angular of tape. It gives it like a nice like whoosh, which I really like. <sighs> Things aren't all bad though. Like, like as you can see, like I'll cry and I'll be super sad, but then I'll just like, I'll snap back to it because like life goes on and like it's like it's bad moments not bad days so in here I think I'm gonna take this shade right here because it's just so perfect in the shade that I want to use and oh my gosh my eyes are watering I cannot have this of course the watering I'm literally like fucking crying oh my god I'm so stupid I'm gonna pop this into my crease I want just to do like a super hot like bombshell look like I want to look so hot like I might catfish a man today I might not no one really knows no one knows if I'm going to or not <laughs> uh, sorry for crying and I know that you guys are gonna be like don't apologize but it's just it's it's just like a lot for me like I always grew up and I was always that person who like showed no emotion like I was such like a freaking like hard ass bitch and now I'm <laughs> I'm not this is like really changed me I kind of want to take this shade it's like a little bit more of like a pinkier tone maybe just like pop it right here I have no idea what I'm doing I don't think I've done my makeup in like forever oh no I did it once two weeks ago and I did a real right <laughs> see even I forget I'm also gonna take some of that first shade and really bring it into my nose bridge here because I want a super like contoured like snatched look I'm also not wearing pants and my ass keeps sticking to my chair and I'm it's like so hot in here and it's like guys it's moist down there <laughs> I'm not gonna lie it's a little, it's a little something something down there oh my god okay before I do anything else like my like cut crease kind of moment I'm going to take yeah I love this shade down here this dark brown I'm literally using the brush I use my things no I wanted to use some of these new brushes where did I put them I'm gonna take this brush and dip it into this dark brown here which I love this it's like a cool tone chocolate and it's so beautiful and I'm just going to extend it right from where my iris starts just out of it just super softly super softly like a soft little angel oh my gosh like you almost wouldn't even know it's there you know what I'm saying and then I'm gonna take a little bit more concealer and kind of where my nose bridge just flops right in I'm just gonna over extend my crease just so it's like super exaggerated and see how it'll come down and match my nose like that it's like super super snatched what's that thing that 
oh, what did he used to say? Never mind, I can't even remember his name. What's JLo's makeup artist's name? You guys, my like I'm telling you, my mind, it's like literally mush. Like I, I can't remember anything to save my life. Is there an M? I literally can't remember. I know exactly what he looks like. A big macho buff guy with his thick black glasses. He has a brand, those brushes. Start with a G, does it start with a G? Hmm. No idea. I'm just gonna like drag this in and kind of slope it downward a bit. Just to give it like an effortless like blend. Like I don't, I don't want it to be obvious that I've done this, but I don't want it to be like too subtle that you don't know I did it. Do you know what I'm saying? I just like want it to be the perfect amount. And like I'm using like hardly any concealer. Like this is all like pretty much dry. I'm like, I always say dry brushing and then no one understands what that means. <laughs> so I'm dry brushing it, okay? Okay. <laughs> and then I'm going to take this like just bone, um, it's just like a, bone matte white shade it's like a little bit ivory ish i'm just gonna pop that on top just to like mattify it even more and blend it in pop it on my lid i don't think i'm gonna do anything shimmery today except for probably like a highlight maybe because i want to keep it all pretty sculpted this is kind of like the look i've just been like doing lately because it's just so easy and it's just like if i want to look hot this is the look i do i take a bit more of that maroon pop it on there again like having your eye lifted is like a super like huge trend right now and this is kind of like faking that you know like giving me that that i need At this point i think i'm gonna take these puppies off and because i'm so hot and sweaty they kind of just lifted off as is love that i love using those look how clean and per perfect that is i always use these things in my kit it's like unreal so my favorite slide on glide on no glide on eye pencil from urban decay this is it it's so short it's so stubby it's in the shade twice baked which is just like a nice brown but it has like somewhat of a sparkle i love this eyeliner this is my second one of these in the past like three years which is a lot considering i use this every day on my set well not every day but you know what i mean like back before covid when i never not put makeup on this is what i used so i think i want to do like kind of like sultry underneath my eye because typically i leave it blank so I think I'm going to put this in my waterline and then we're just going to go from there. Which this is like actual hell. Oh, am I going to cry again? Oh. God, I'm so mean to myself. Yeah, I am probably going to cry again. <laughs> I'll just like go over that liner a bit or that shadow. Ugh, I literally love this thing. It's just the perfect color. If you have eyes that look like the earth like mine a little bit green a little bit blue i live i'm telling you i swear to god it's the best what are the updates do i what are the updates do i have oh frenemies going down right now trish just uploaded this morning her three-part series while i was doing my hair i uh got almost done one and i know a lot of okay so i don't know if you guys know but i'm always the person who comments to see her storage units on her channel and it's like definitely like a it's like a thing now and it's so funny when people are like oh my god you're back we love the storage units bitch they need to show trisha storage units on frenemies that is what is going to save frenemies i even uh emailed them when they're asking for advice and i emailed them and i said listen we need to see the storage units like if it's my last dying wish like if i'm gonna do like a make a wish thing it's gotta be i gotta see her storage units like i need that to happen so freaking badly it's not even funny and i'm just gonna drag this i should probably do my concealer first but we'll just put it down just for the sake of putting it down because i want just like a just a cat eye and i'm gonna leave this area of my eye blank i don't want to build up the color too much there because i want my eye to be lifted gorgeous stunning which is always so hard for me to do it because i always feel like i need something there and i feel like i look naked without it if you're wondering my opinion on the frenemies thing i think they're both in the wrong i think it's both gross that they talked about their employees well ethan's employees wages on the podcast it's just like do you hear my butt <laughs> okay i'm just gonna go once over just with my blending brush as you can see it's just like Heart, like a sculpt that's hardly there but it is there but you would you wouldn't really notice 
For my foundation, um, I did put some skincare on. I put a Vichy moisturizer on, and I did put the Good Molecules. This is what a discoloration correcting serum. I've been using this lately. Let's look down to here because I do have some discoloration. My nose is red right now from, you know, crying, but <laughs> that's going to help me. I'm also going to pop on a little bit of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer just to smooth out any of my imperfections here, which aren't really many, to be honest with you. My skin's been pretty good since I got my IUD last year, and that's really helped my skin, honestly. I was so against birth control my whole life, mostly because, like, I ain't trying to take a pill every day, but, um, I had some, I don't know if I talked about it on my channel, I had some, um, issues with my uterus and I was literally like discharging like huge clots of blood August of 2019 so a few months before my hand went numb I'm not sure if it had anything to do with my MS or whatnot but I went on oral birth control at first and then um, I got an IUD January of last year February of last year and it's really helped I have no issues at all this foundation is a new one by Makeup Forever. It's water tone. It's a tint, actually. Oh, you know what I should do? Hold on. I want to put some concealer on my face to dry first. Hold on. I'm going to take some concealer and pop it on here so it can sit on there and dry so I don't have to keep messing around with a bunch of concealer. And it'll hide it a bit better because it's going to be dried down. Think of it like paint. Wet paint, let it dry. It'll cover. And cover it on my nose a bit more <laughs> this foundation is water tone by makeup forever i'm using the shade 2y15 which i tried this two weeks ago and i did spend one weekend at the lake so i might be a little bit more tan so we'll see i have the box here so i can play with colors if need be this foundation is so cool it's like wet and like foamy it's just like a really cool texture if i'm being honest with you it did come with a sponge, but I'm using my beauty blender because I love my beauty blender. And even though it's a tint, it's like, look at the coverage. I might have a little bit too much on my beauty blender. I'm just going to blend this around here, but it's actually so pretty. I love the way my skin looked when I had this on. So that's why we're going to be using it today. And I didn't let this concealer dry enough, but that's okay. What other topics I have to talk about? Oh, I've rewatched Real Housewives of New Jersey, Real Housewives of New York. I'm currently on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, season five. Lisa and Eileen just joined. So I've, I've already all seen it. I'm just like rewatching because I've had nothing really to do but wallow in my sorrows during this past while. And uh, Housewives always just makes me happy. Like I literally remember sitting in my parents' house when I was 16 in 2006 and watching Real Housewives of Orange County for the first time on Slice, on channel 32, on Slice. <laughs> Which is like sort of like the, it's kind of like the Canadian Bravo, like all the shows for Bravo would like air on Slice. It's like it was syndicated like on that, on that channel. Okay, no, this is what happened last time. It like is weird around my nose. Maybe because of the primer I use but I know it was so weird it did this like it would like remove from my nose hold on I need to play with this some more see this was my issue last time but then it literally looked so perfect I think I just need to keep I need to keep blending okay do you see my nose ah I don't know what's happening I think it's my primer I used Okay, I took a minute to like take a break. This is what the foundation is literally doing on my face right now. And this is what happened last time. And I think it might be this beauty blender because like it's literally like from like on my forehead, no problem. Down here, no problem. But anywhere around my nose, it just like, like what is happening right now? And it like feels like it's like burning. Like for real, you guys, I'm not kidding. It feels like it's burning. But last time I got this foundation to work and it looked so beautiful. So I'm not, I don't know what's happening right now. But my nose literally feels like it's burning. It actually hurts. <laughs> Maybe we'll just like let this dry or something. This is so much foundation, oh my god. It feels like I put a freaking Too Faced lip injection on my nose. 
Okay, I have to remove this because it's it's just too much for me. Look how red my face is. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm not kidding you guys. It feels like my I think I am allergic to an ingredient in this foundation. God. Ooh, it's burning, bitch. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm just supposed to look so cute for my birthday. I didn't ask for this. Okay, so I'm definitely allergic to this foundation, I think. I'm going to have to revisit this another time. I did use this two weeks ago, and it was fine. So I don't know what's happening. Maybe it's something else. I'm not sure. I'm going to leave my forehead because my forehead seems fine. Wow, this took a turn, I'm telling you. Hey, you never know when you're going to be allergic to something. You know what I mean? I do have the Smashbox, the Halo, what is this? Halo Tinted All-in-One Moisturizer. I'm in the shade Fair. I'm going to pop this on, I guess, and try and make up for the damage that has been done on my face here. <laughs> it's like, it's like swollen. Like, I don't know if you can see in the camera, but it's like definitely... <sighs> it's definitely seen better days. And this is like, this is way yellower, but... I'm wearing a colored shirt today so like I literally you guys at this point I don't care I just need something on my face to cover up this redness okay <laughs> like <laughs> oh my god okay I think my face is like gonna be okay so I do have some products by Iconic London here and I wanted to try the sheer blush and the sheer bronze just to, you know to give it a little go so the sheer, sheer blush is in rose riot and then beach vibes in the sheer bronze which they're just like a liquid like blush and bronzer and i thought that'd be super fun to try them out so iconic london is now in sephora canada which that is so exciting so i'm gonna grab this is actually a sephora collection brush and just dip my brush in here a bit and you can see it's like really is like sheer and uh cute so we're gonna pop a little bit of this on just on my little areas here just to give me like some color it's pretty warm so I'm not gonna do a ton I just want to see how it like blends out so if I'm gonna be using it on clients or whatnot it is actually a nice shade it's not too bad it's not like super super dark just a touch down here cover up my my COVID chin Ugh. And I did pop a little bit of the blush on my hand, so I'm just going to also pop that. You know what? I'm going to take a little bit more, actually, because I want to be really blushed up here. That's a bit much, but... Pop it on my brush. Just, like, on the high points of my cheeks, I think I'm going to focus it there. I don't think I really want any blush, like, in the center of my face today. I want, like, an uplifting an uplifting look you know to give me some some good vibes for my 31st birthday my mom and I were making a joke that it's just my first anniversary of turning 30 just like it's her 34th anniversary of being 30 it's my it's my first anniversary which I thought was really funny <laughs> oh lord okay that gives me like a nice like cute like flushed look and I think it blended nicely with both of the foundations that I have on my face. Although I do look like I'm wearing a lot of makeup. Before I powder with my Beauty Blender Powder Puff, I am going to just, I always take make sure I take my Beauty Blender and go over any places that could crease. Just, just so I'm not like powdering a like creased pile of makeup. That's my like trick. So there's a, there's a tip for me to you. And I'm just gonna softly powder all over my face just so it's not sticky and disgusting because it's so hot and gross out. It was 38 degrees here this um, past weekend, which is like, I don't know, like 98 degrees. Like it's honestly, so, it was so hot. Uh, the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. I love this thing. I love this like contour shade in it. It's perfect for my pale ass. I'm just going to do a little bit of contouring before I finish my eyes just to see like the levels of like how much I want on there and whatnot. I don't really ever use this light shade. It's like a highlighter, which I like my highlighters to be like super bam bam, thank you ma'am. 
and like it's not like that one is it's just very like subtle and like it's cute for like i feel like i said this when i was reviewing it it's cute for like real life but when you're taking photos you need something with like a little bit more pizzazz and typically when i'm doing my makeup on here like i've always said it's like so much more than you would do in real life which is always like interesting but yeah just like a little a little of that and none of none of that okay <laughs> i almost feel like we're good for blush but i do have a charlotte tilbury blush also here i'm just gonna just like just like that just for now you know just a smidge just so i can finish my eyes and not look like completely naked okay so to finish my eyes i think i'm going to take like maybe this shade a little bit and i just want to drag that right underneath there but so softly like almost having nothing on my brush because i just want it soft and big and make me look like my eyes are super sultry and sexy like i'm like kendall jenner or something even though i'm not <laughs> While I'm sitting here and my lips feel disgusting, I also have the Iconic London Lip Oil, which look at how shiny this is. Is that not like the cutest and prettiest thing you've ever seen? <laughs> look at how shiny my lips are. So smooth, I'm gonna let that marinate on there. I was just curling my eyelashes a bit because I need to put some mascara on. And then you guys, this is my COVID baby, okay? I've created a brand called Silhouette. I have six pairs of lashes and it's going to be launching eventually. <laughs> Isn't it so cute? This one's so cute. I'm so proud of this. This is my um, lashes in the number three. Um, and we're going to be popping these on today. So these are my like super flirty cat eye, just like beautiful. Like these are my, I think this is like my favorite like pair of them. I, <laughs> I put my heart and soul into this and like, I just let's just put them on I love these okay so I'm gonna put a little mascara on first so this is the Maybelline the falsies do, 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 do. now I am going to prep these by trimming the ends off a little bit so they fit perfectly to my eyeball and what I love about these is they look super dramatic but the more you cut off like the less dramatic they are and you can even do like a half lash and it's just like it's so pretty <laughs> so let's put them on so I have trimmed about like I don't know three millimeters off of each side of these and now I'm going to pop them on with tweezers and I also am going to be using my kiss lash glue liner I love this stuff so much and the reason I decided to like go ahead and do lashes because every time like it's only it only makes sense like every time I do someone's makeup because I do freelance full-time like there's a certain specific pairs of lashes that I like and I decided why not just like manufacture them myself and like create a brand and like that's exactly what I did because it only like it literally only makes sense like I know what I like like I love lashes lashes has always been like my thing so I decided to go for it it's not launched yet this is just like a precursor you're just like seeing the like you know this is your sneak peek okay <laughs> this is really giving me like passion and something to do and it's been so fun to do like it's just it's honestly like really lifted my spirits in the time of covid like it's it was so fun and it is so fun like i love i love creating something that like i know that i love and like my clients love and if they love it everyone else is gonna love it like look at how pretty that is like can you get enough i i literally can't get enough it's so pretty i always just like to make sure i take my three fingers and i always get my clients to do this too and you just push them up so they just sit and lift your eye instead of falling down are you kidding me are you joking it's literally perfect i know <laughs> okay so i'm gonna do the other side and this glue you guys i swear is the trick to like i would not be where i am today without this glue this glue is is my lifeline honestly at this point <laughs> and that sounds sad and pathetic but it honest to god is and on with my number threes I always pop down in the middle, attach the outer, and then I attach the inner. Because the inner is always the most finicky, especially with my watery ass eyes. But like, look at how beautiful that is, you guys. I swear. I swear. If nothing else, I produced thousands of lashes <laughs> for my own, <laughs> for my own liking and for my own kit, I suppose. But. I, I swear to you when I do launch these you you will love them and I, I hope you love them 
But anyway, this is not a launch. This is not a launch announcement. It's the announcement that it's coming. But my MS has put a backseat to all this. Oh, and that was another thing that I like, I was freaking out about when I was getting diagnosed because in Canada, like healthcare is free. Like when I go to do an MRI, it's free. When I go to the hospital, it's free. When I go to a doctor appointment, it's free. Not when I go to the dentist or when I go for like, a, like therapy, that's not free. And also prescription or like medications are not free. And I googled like the price of like um, my treatment that I'm going to be doing, which I think I'm going to be doing Ocrevus. I'm really not sure yet, but I think that's what I'm going to be doing. Bitch, it's $33,000. I can't even say it Canadian. <laughs> of course, we have PharmaCare, which I can sign up for, which is there's a premium. And like, I'm not here to like talk about money, but it's like, that was another thing because I was like, oh my God, like I somehow have to like come up with $5,000 every single year for the rest of my life. Like, that's my travel money or that's my like, you, do you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, you really have to like take a step back and realize like my life from this point forward is so different. Like I've been so frivolous with my money. I spend what I spend. Like I live for me and only me. And like now I have to like factor in that like I just save money for medical bills. Like I just never thought that would be my life because I have been so healthy my whole life. <laughs> healthy. <laughs> Undetected. I was undetected. How about that? <laughs> I always put a little bit of mascara on after. Like I literally just go like this to my lashes just to like blend my lashes into the false lashes. Just a tiny little bit. I'm not coating the lashes. I'm not bringing it out here. I'm doing nothing but just like popping it and patting it onto my lashes. Just so they're like a little bit more combined and like, you know, undetectable. A wee bit. I also realized I was talking about Trish and then I was talking about Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and I completely forgot that Trish and Brandy Glanville <laughs> were on Celebrity Big Brother together. I completely, completely forgot about that. Wow, small world, honey. Okay, so I think that my contour, my contour and blush looks really good. So I'm gonna take some of the Cookie Highlight by Benefit. This has my been my favorite highlight for so long. Like it's been like a year of quarantine when I found this and I realized that this was literally my soulmate and now I have hiccups so sorry about that and we're just gonna pop this on like isn't this so it's literally the best like I can't Im imagine anything else except for the wet, wet and wild blossom blossom glow highlight that is my bitch too but this one this is my bitch currently and this brush is a Too Faced highlighter brush actually which I love I love so much Ugh, are you kidding me? I look like a wet little like goblin or something. Love being a wet goblin. <laughs> the mascara that's on my lashes is like 80% dry and I'm just pushing it into my false lashes now because that really like, first of all, lifts the lash up and it also connects your lashes to the false lashes. Yo, I got all the tricks up these sleeves. <laughs> I actually do have sleeves on too. <laughs> all right, <laughs> for my lips. Charlotte Tilbury, I've used a lot of Charlotte Tilbury, sorry. I got on PR and it's just been like, oh, like I feel so fancy. I feel like there's always been like moments in my like YouTube, like social media career where I've been like, oh my God. And like getting on Charlotte Tilbury PR was definitely one of them. So they have these lipsticks. This is in the shade Nude Romance. And it's like bedazzled and like so pretty. I unboxed this on my Instagram and I was just like actually in shock at how like stunning this is. So yeah, this is in Nude Romance. I want to use this shade today because it's stunning and it also has, you see, it has hearts like engraved on the actual bullet of the lipstick, which is so beautiful. Like I, this is perfect. Like I literally am obsessed with this. I love this so much. So we're gonna use this. I have a NYX lip liner in the shade Coffee. So that is what we will use. Just gonna blend that with my finger. And get ready to pop this beauty on. This lip line is a little bit more purpley than I thought, but whatever. 
I also feel like I just want to pop a little bit of the lip oil on top of here just to give me like a nice gloss. I think I just need like a a gloss in my life. You know what I'm saying? Just like a nice, I don't know why I'm talking like this. I'm talking like this because I watched Real Housewives of New Jersey season one to, I think, finish at eight. Oh yeah. I mean, could she? Would she? Will she? Yes. One other thing I'm going to use is the Sigma Prime and Control. Prime and Control. It's a brow wax and I'm certainly not priming my brow with this, but I love using this. It's just like a bullet of wax honestly and I feel like laminated brows look so silly on me but when I just put a tiny bit of this in my brow and then brush it up I just feel like it gives me that like kind of spiky brow look that's all the rage right now without being too too crazy which I feel like I look funny with like laminated brows like I feel like I'm like <laughs> whoa it's not for me I don't think I just feel like I look funny with it like I'm so open to it but I just like I feel like I look like a try hard or like what are you doing Bailey like that does not look good or something like I don't know <laughs> maybe I'm just so used to seeing so many photos of me with my brows like a certain way that to see it any other way it's like when someone does your makeup you're like this is not what I expected <laughs> anyway there we have the finished look very natural very well it's natural colors neutral colors not natural at all it is a huge amount of makeup <laughs> and i hope you guys enjoyed this video you see how i'm like okay now like it's just like when i get in my feelings and when i get sad like that's when i'm sad but then i'm fine you know like i have a cry and then it's all good none the wiser i'm gonna need to put um boy some clips in my hair or something boy come say hi boy oh what's happening what's wrong no you're not going that way you're going this way boy say hello say hello say hello you say hi who's my fatty you guys he's 15 pounds we're so excited about his weight gain <laughs> no we're not <laughs> look at this cat boy that's very romantic it's very romantic you're literally wet why are you wet? Were you drinking? Yeah, I feel like I need to go put like an accessory in my hair or something. You'll probably see that in the thumbnail. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is my makeup. I'm 33. 31. I'm not 33. I'm definitely 31. <laughs> I'm 31. 31. I don't know which way it comes up on the camera because I think this is backwards. 31. 31 see it's hard it's hard anyway i hope you guys enjoyed it's been good to film and you know have a little chat i'm sorry i've been away at least now like you know that like it's been like hard like really hard but i do have my covid baby my silhouette lashes make sure you follow them on instagram it's literally me following them like it's literally me <laughs> follow me on instagram and um yeah I'll see you guys in my next one. I feel cute, no? Ooh. Ooh, I'm just out. I'm just like going to the office, you know? I'm just like, ooh, yeah. Okay. Bye, y'all.